Hey guys, it's Jacob and I'm back. Man, as y'all know, I've been doing endurance racing for a long time, I think over 15 years now, and I have had a lot of heart rate monitors, but I have never had one that was almost $130 until today. Introduce the Garmin Heart Rate Monitor Pro. Man, is this worth an extra $75 from the baseline model? Maybe. Um, Let's talk about it, but uh, real talk, if you're looking for like some dorky scientific YouTube channel review, this is not the place. Um, I'm a normal dude, and I'm going to give you an actual review that's going to be useful to us normal folks that don't get uh, free things to review on the internet. So check this out, uh, stay tuned, and let's see what's good, and let's see what's bad. Okay guys, like I said, here is uh, the Garmin Heart Rate Monitor Pro. Um, man, I paid exactly $128 on Amazon for this bad boy. Yeah, uh, that's a little pricey for a heart rate monitor, but, um, I wanted to give it a go because, you know, um, I'm, I'm pro Garmin products for the most part. I have a Garmin computer and a Garmin watch. So, um, let's just kind of talk some of the stats real quick. The battery life is advertised here at 12 months. That's not a long time compared to some of the other ones on the market, but there are a lot of features here with the Heart Rate Monitor Pro that um, maybe justify, you know, and kind of, um, there's a reason it's only 12 months, right? Uh, and it just takes your typical battery size for any heart rate monitor you've ever used before. Uh, it is rated to five ATMs in the water. I guess that really just means it's fancy for uh, 50 meters of water pressure. So uh, you can go pretty deep with it. And I think, you know, overall, you, you're, it's advertised that you can swim with it. We'll talk more about that uh, here in a little bit. All right. Um, but yeah, so there it is. Let's move on to uh, my first impressions here. All right, so first impressions out of the box. Um, man, it looks nice okay um i've been using it uh for a few weeks now and uh overall i mean I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the way it looks it's not super slim um but overall looks good the strap itself is uh seems a little bit nicer than some of the other ones i've had uh it's no like groundbreaking technology but it does seem soft so i'm, I'm good with that um, the back side here where the sensors are, I feel like there's less sensors than some of my other heart rate monitors, but maybe that's just because there's a separation here. There's no uh, continuation, so um, nothing out of the ordinary right here. Now, um, let's briefly talk about the battery, because that's a huge thing for me. Um, I use my heart rate monitor all the time, and I go through batteries pretty quick. So, um, let's look at this. This does not pop off like your normal heart rate monitor would. You actually remove this yellow rubber piece here, and it will um, kind of expose the underside here. See that? So it's basically just, I, I don't want to say it's waterproof because it's not, but it covers this, and then there's uh, four small screws here that you remove to replace the battery. Guys, I hate to say this about Garmin. Um, over the years, I have had issues with these stupid little screws. Sorry, I said stupid, live with it. Um, but yeah, there's four screws here that you have to remove to be able to take the battery compartment out. And they are just a pain. The instructions specifically say not to over tighten them because everyone over tightens them. So anyway, we'll, we'll, I'll talk more about that kind of in my final thoughts on replacing the battery. But there it is back on there. And, uh, yeah, I think overall, aesthetically, is that the right word? It looks good. So, I'm good with that. All right, let's move on to the actual performance of this bad boy. All right, guys, so let me talk about the performance a little bit. Um, this, I use uh, a Garmin Forerunner 935, and I use a Garmin Edge 820. Boom, there it is. Anyway, uh, I have found that this connects very fast to both those, as well as uh, my iPhone for when I Zwift, right? So, um, as far as 
the um, actual readings, right? I saw no discrepancies between this and any other heart rate monitor I've ever used. I will say that it is uh, very consistent, very steady. Uh, I'm not seeing any drops. Like, you know, I have seen some drops on some other ones, uh, but I have not had any drops at all, and everything seems very smooth. It seems like it's uh, recording very frequently. So I do like the graphs on it, but um, it doesn't really stand out or... I guess, um, stand down in any of those fields, right? Uh, overall, it does seem reliable. Like I said, I'm getting no drops at all. It's connecting fast. So I would say the performance on this thing, A+, plus, uh, no issues there. But honestly, let's talk about why somebody would spend an extra $75 on this one versus, you know, just paying 50 bucks for the dual, right? So let's move on to that. Okay, guys, so what is so pro? about the Garmin Heart Rate Monitor Pro. Well, here's the deal. Let's really talk about, let's just break it down. If you notice on the front of this thing, can you see that? Is my camera quality good enough? There's a little biker, there's a runner, and there's a swimmer. Yeah, I think this is for triathletes. I said it, um, deal with it. But um, it, it, if you're a cyclist, I'll talk to y'all first. I, I don't think there's any big plus to this, okay? I think you just overpaid for a basic heart rate monitor because I'm not getting any data from this that I'm not getting from one that I pay 50 bucks for or even $30 for. I will talk about that heart rate monitor later, okay? Um, if you are a, let's go with a runner. If you're a runner, there are some things on here that you may want to consider, okay? Um, I'm gonna read them because I'm not sure what all these things mean. I'm kidding, I do. I don't think you really need them all. One of them is cadence. I get cadence from my watch, okay? Um, that's pretty accurate, but this will also give you cadence, okay? Uh, one of them is vertical oscillation, and that is actually like fancy for vertical motion of the torso while running. That's bounce, how much you're getting up and down, right? Um, ground contact time, I guess that's cool information if you're into running, okay? Um, ground contact time balance is another aspect. Same thing, but it just gives you kind of the balance on that. And then your stride length uh, and your vertical ratio. Look, all that's cool stuff. Um, I'm gonna tell you, if you are that into running and that stuff actually makes a difference, you know what, this may be good for you. Um, I tried it out, I got all those numbers, and uh, it didn't really do anything for me because I just don't really care. But if you're the kind of person that cares, this is for you, okay? Um, so all that's cool stuff. Runner, man, this is gonna give you some cool data if you wanna dork out over that. Sorry, I said dork, live with that. Uh, swimming, okay. So it says you can swim with this thing. What's really weird is it says basically it's made for open water swimming. Yeah, uh, it says limit your pool use in it to like once a week or something like that. Specifically, it says Garmin states in the manual it's designed to be used in open water and occasionally in a pool. I don't know, man, I wouldn't trust that if said occasionally in a pool. It says you should wash it every time you use it in a pool. So if you use it in open water, just once every few swims. So if you're using a heart rate monitor to swim, you need to be using it when you train. And if you train in open water, congratulations on living in Hawaii, because that sounds awesome. I live in Texas, and I never trained in the open water on a regular basis. That's way off base. Okay, so um, let's talk about the takeaways here, right? Um, if you are a cyclist, there really are no pluses to this thing, okay? If you're a runner and you're into the data and that's something you want, I would say, you know what, and you got an extra 75 bucks to spend compared to like the baseline, go for it, okay? Um, and if you're a swimmer, I mean, um, this is the only Garmin option that really says it's rated for using um, in the water. So I would say this is a good option for you as well, okay? Um, all in all, what are my final thoughts on this thing? Is it nice? It's nice. Does it give you some cool data if you're a runner? Absolutely, stinking lootly, okay? Um, it's a beautiful heart rate monitor. Congratulations, Garmin. But there's one issue to this thing that'll keep me from ever buying another one as long as they continue to do it and it's making these battery compartments that are just absolutely horrible these screws will be the death of me okay guys if you're good with tiny screws and you're into this kind of stuff um i say go for it and um, these do not last long enough for me um and i was hoping when i bought this one that the pro would not have these screws and sure enough it did so Take that uh, as you will. Anyway, guys, 
Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm getting out of here to go work out. See y'all later.